uh, state your full name, the organization that you're representing, and your position on the bill. Yes, my name is Hannah Gill. I'm representing NAMI Texas, and we are in support of the bill. Thank you. Good afternoon, committee members. I am Hannah Gill, Policy Fellow of NAMI Texas, which is affiliated with the National Alliance on Mental Illness. My testimony is in support of HB 299. The United States is struggling with a public health crisis due to the use of alcohol and wide range of both legal and e illegal drugs and the misuse of over-the-counter medications. Individuals struggling with substance use disorders are found throughout the country. It impacts every demographic, every socioeconomic level, and every age group, including children and adolescents. This public health crisis demands increasing attention for the well-being of Texans. Statewide, in the reporting year 2018 through 2019, about 5% of Texans aged 18 or older had an alcohol use disorder and almost 6.5% had a substance use disorder. These disorders are even more pervasive and troubling in the 18 to 25 year old demographic. More than 8% of young adults have, ha have an alcohol use disorder and almost 12.5% have a substance use disorder. Affordable treatments and recovery options fall short of meeting the needs of individuals seeking to address their substance use disorder. While there is no one-size-fits-all approach for addressing substance use disorders, recovery residents present the most beneficial option to the for the following reasons. Affordability, peer support, and family-like living arrangements, and approximate, approximate, oh my goodness, proximity to family and friends in work and school. Furthermore, a study conducted by HHSC in 2022 including literature review, site visits, focus groups, and interviews, found convincing evidence that recovery residences increase the odds of successful long-term recovery. Voluntary certification of Texas recovery housing will lead to high quality, safe, and affordable housing that the state needs to address the substance use crisis and weed out bad providers. HB 299 would allow for the voluntary accreditation standards for recovery housing. These standards would be consistent with standards from the National Alliance for Recovery Residencies and Oxford House. These standards would help clarify what is required of recovery housing and credentialing organizations, strengthen informed choice and personal liberties, provide consumer protection and oversight without overregulation. Over Additionally, HB 299 promotes fiscal responsibility and cost-effective use of state dollars. The passage of this bill would help ensure all Texans in recovery have safe and quality housing. Thank you for your time and consideration. Thank you.